this way. Good. Mm -hmm. Put up some steam, just get accurate. You said you wanted to try a hook off the jab? Yeah. Okay, you're doing that one shot and then you're going here and here. That ain't a combination. It's just not an effective one. You're going to throw that shot here. You know, you got to learn how to come here and kind of make that thing get get that other hand in there. Or even shoot the left. You can go right here and left hook up. Um, double some shots on one side. Double some shots on the other side. But bring something in the middle, then bring something over the top. You know? <clears throat> Let's get it. Boy, you're leaving that middle wide open. You ain't touching none of that middle stuff. Good combination. Pour the steam up there. Get clean with it. <clears throat> clean. Nice and thorough. Good. Way to roll up under that thing. Nighty tie. Good. Turn. Very good. This is good stuff right there. Just nice and touch. Mm -hmm. Try not to slap. Get your, get, make sure you got your legs close enough. Bending the knees and getting to the point where you can get there. Turn. When you get right there and he, he, he got his defense on you, you slide around. And, Double the shot. That was a good shot opportunity to double that left hook. Boom, boom. Little tap. Nice combinations. Pop, 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 pop. You know, sometimes you just touch to see if the hands will move. You know what I'm saying? Then tie up, turn. After you throw, tie. Use something different now, different tactics. Now you start your tactics up. All right? And always stay ahead. Stay out of the way of your emotion. Control that. You get clean, you get smarter. Yeah, be smart. Good. Mm hmm. Step around. Mm hmm. All right. Time. Okay. Now let's walk. Let's work on you stepping around. Where you getting, so your confusion is them punches are coming, you get into a position where you just start going with what's going on. This round, the objective was to control your emotion and then become smarter in that moment. You know what I'm saying? Let's try that again. Side step or slightly pivot around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kurt, we trying to do the hook off the jazz. Um, but when that pace start turning up with guys who have a different level, there you go. Yeah, see, it's easier with lesser competition, but when the guys you're in the ring with hit hard, very hard, one punch knockout kind of guys, it's easier said than done. But that's why we go to the reps. These are the drills I want you guys to really practice. Um, Kirk, with your sons and them, once they start getting emotional and start throwing, pull them back. Make sure that they are in control of their emotions. And then you can get the most out of them. They'll get the reps on how to throw combinations better. Inside, under, down the middle, in the pipe, towards the gut. <clears throat> Side step. Use those little feints. Let's work more clinches in this. And create that angle after you throw the punch. Good, good turn. There you go. See what we're doing now. Our objective is to use the clinch in the betterment of our offense. Stay in control, keep it in control. Good. Super control. Way to use the elbows. 
You threw them carbonations, you should have did something after that. with them punches. I'll stand in front of them on both sides of the body, create the angle, tilt the bodies to the left or the right. Good shot, George. That was an under Nova opportunity. You're obvious with it. Camouflage your, your side step. Hmm. Camo, you ain't camouflaged. You like, sure. Yeah. I'm doing it. You gotta be careful how much you put out there. Telegraph and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. You know, our keys is to make sure we give everybody get the lesson. Good work, George. George put mix some things up good. So what I, we was doing is making sure that you guys really understand the principles of developing the fighter. Right now, you got guys. They're young. They're fighting. But the difference is, they ain't fighting at a high level yet. The higher you go up, every eight to 10 fights, the levels change exponentially. The stuff you think you can get away with now, you won't be able to get away with that stuff then. If you have not been at that level before, you will soon learn. That's why we do these drills like religiously, inside day, tying up. They know how to tie up. They got different circles of tying up. That's why I put that in that book that you guys have. That guide is, is so essential with progression and what we've done these lessons have gone all the way to the tippy top and been across the ring fighting for the green belt so this is not some guessing game these tactics have been used at the highest level and the process has been used at the highest level the key thing I want you guys to do is to make sure that on a regular basis you don't get away from these days. Don't let your fighters just start banging. Sometimes you got guys that's on different levels and they're going against each other and the guy that has a higher level is dominating. Don't let that be the case. Make him pull back because if he's at a higher level, he won't be able to do that to the other guy so he doesn't need to practice dominating the guy if the guy's a lesser foe. So just keep this work. Implement these tactics. Our, like I said, our objective was to learn how to throw combinations on the inside, making little subtle moves off to the side so you can get directly in that bread basket and learn how to throw the uppercut. Little short combinations like that, threes and fours. So um, that's it for right now. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Drop your little comments in the comment section and I'll get back to you at the earliest convenience. I will be out of town traveling this weekend. Um, we got some amazing things happening, but with that being said, be patient if I don't get right to you. And uh, until the next time, be blessed at God's speed. You guys, you're the next generation. Let's do it right. Let's take the game to the next level. Peace.